In this video, we provide the solution to question number 10 for the practice exam number one for Math 1050. We're given three functions, f, g, and h, and we're asked to identify which of these functions is odd. Remember, an odd function has symmetry with respect to the origin. In particular, you have f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. That is, the negative sign comes out when we evaluate the function at some negative expression there. Now, for polynomials, you can actually detect even an odd functions pretty quickly. Um, if a polynomial function has only odd powers, like 5 and 1, that necessarily makes it odd. But we can check that algebraically as well. You have f of negative x, that equals negative x to the fifth, minus negative x right here, for which you can, by since they're odd powers, the negative sign comes out, you get negative x to the fifth. Again, you have this negative, negative x, factoring out the negative sign like so. You get x to the fifth minus x, which then equals negative f of x. So that's going to, in general, happen. If you have a polynomial function with only odd powers, it will be an odd function. That's actually where the name comes from. So we should correctly uh, select choice F. Choice D is also a polynomial, but now we have even powers. X to the fourth minus one, which one you can think of X to the zero. Zero is an even number. Um, we know it's not going to be odd because there aren't only odd powers, but this actually is an example of an even function. We're not looking for that, but it is in fact an even function. I did want to point that out. To see it, you do the same thing. You just look at g of negative x, for which you replace all of the x's with a negative, like so. Now, even powers will absorb the negative sign. Negative 1 squared is in fact positive 1. So this becomes x to the fourth minus 1, which is the same thing as g of x. And that's what characterizes even functions a reflection across the y-axis. That is, replacing x with negative x doesn't actually change the formula, doesn't change the graph. Now, we're not looking for even functions, we're looking for odd functions. So uh, all we had to determine was that g was not odd. The fact that it's even is, is not relevant for this question. So we will remove g. So detecting even odd functions with polynomials, that is, you just have some combinations, um, some are differences of powers of x, that, uh, and maybe some coefficients, polynomials are very easy to detect. Um, it gets a little bit more tricky with other functions, like this rational function here. You notice you have an x to the first, you have an x squared and, a, and x is zero down there. You might be tempted to say it's not odd because there's an even power. That's actually false. We're going to see in a second that this is, in fact, an odd function. Um, you might be thinking it's not even because there's an odd powers. Again, you have to be a little bit more careful with these functions. The best thing to do is to actually ch check it, replace x with negative x, and try to simplify it. So in the numerator, you get a negative x. In the denominator, you get negative x squared plus 1. Now, in the numerator, since you have a negative x, and that's the only thing there, I could factor the negative 1 and put it in front of the whole fraction. Um, in the denominator, a negative x squared gives us a positive x squared, and then we didn't do anything to the 1. So you'll notice we have a negative x over x squared plus 1. That is just negative h of x. And so we have h of negative x is equal to negative h of x. That indicates that, in fact, h is likewise an odd function. So we need to include that in our answer as well. So g is not odd because it was even. Um, f and h are both odd functions. So the correct answer would be choice E. f and h are odd.